Zember is upon us, and with it, the first gasps of a mild winter in Japan. With my parents and brother in town, we embark on a long trip northeast. Through sights and sounds, rain and snow, lights, food, and culture. Join us on this multi-part series on an adventure that begins one evening in Asakusa, Tokyo. Here we go. We are enjoying some monjayaki. It is a Tokyo specialty. It's this slimy dish. It looks, it really tastes a lot better than it looks. It's delicious. We're still in Tokyo for tonight. But tomorrow, at the crack of dawn, we'll be taking a train all the way down to Hokkaido. So, we'll be enjoying our Tokyo specialty food while we can. Delicious. Okay, so we're heading to Ueno Station now, where we'll be taking the Shinkansen all the way up north. So we bought some Ikiben, which are special uh, train station bento lunchboxes, which we will enjoy in the train. And so, beneath overcast skies in the metropolis, we set out on a five-hour bullet train ride to the southern Hokkaido city of Hakodate. We are now at the, somewhere around the northern tip of Honshu, and we will soon enter into a tunnel that leads underwater, and then that takes us over into uh, Hokkaido Island. Okay, I believe we are in the Seikan Tunnel now, which will lead underwater to take us over to Hokkaido. Apparently, there's a 23 kilometer stretch underwater. As you can see, you can see nothing. It's basically just a tunnel. So, we are presumably underwater now. I'm still getting internet, which is kind of impressive. <laughs> So the announcer just came on and told us, Welcome to Hokkaido. So, welcome to Hokkaido. So according to the weather report, the highest temperature here today is 1 degree. It is probably 1 degree now. It is cold. Quite a while since I've been on a one car train. Nice and retro sort of station. Be nice.
Welcome to Hakodate. We are going to head to the hotel next to the station, drop our luggage first, and then we'll go look for lunch. No idea what this is supposed to be. It moves every now and then. It's a windy day. We are out looking for some soup curry, which is a Hokkaido specialty and would serve as well in this very blustery cold weather. Hopefully it's not closed or something. <laughs> Despite the frigid temperatures, there was no trace of snow, rather to our disappointment. Still, there was that delightful unfamiliarity of wandering a foreign town. So soup curry is basically curry, but in a very brothy, soupy kind of form. And of course, that's supposed to go very well with the very cold weather here in Hokkaido. It also comes with a lot of like vegetables, so it's a very rich and very hearty kind of combination. Slaughtered the food, and it's very delicious. Very friendly stuff as well. Recommended restaurant, I would say. Excellent stuff. We're back out in the cold, we are gonna go try and take a tram now towards uh, the Motomachi area. Pretty cool looking from the outside. Riding a tram feels hardly different from a bus, really. Okay, so we are at Juji Gai. We're heading towards the Motomachi district, which has a lot of historic Western buildings from the time where Japan first opened up her ports to foreign trade. Apparently there are like churches and, and stuff like that. Warehouses. Alongside Shimoda in Izu, Hakodate was one of the first ports reopened to foreign ships in the 19th century. And reflecting that heritage, the slopes of the Motomachi district preserves a number of charming western buildings. And yet, in the middle of the slope was a Japanese temple compound, striking in its prominence. So that is Mount Hakodate, famed as apparently one of the best night views you can get in Japan. We will be taking a ropeway up there come sunset, but not now. So the one earlier was probably a Roman Catholic church and this one is probably Eastern Orthodox from the, the design of the characteristic cross. It's really a shame that there's no snow. I think snow would really enhance 
you know, this aesthetic. I see if these are old warehouses from the port where they did the trade and all that. Okay, so a brief respite from the cold and time to go back out. I think we're gonna start heading for the ropeway now. You know, the main problem is that it's just really windy and that really exacerbates the effects of the weather. Otherwise, I could see this being a pretty peaceful stroll. But now, it's frigid. So apparently, in addition to being a tourist attraction, this is also a radio station. It says FM Inca. Pretty good view already, but the real deal is supposed to be when the lights come on, which is around 4.35, we'll be just hanging about until then. The lights are starting to come on, it looks good, but there's a heck of a lot of people up here.
after we're done with the observation deck up at the top, it's extremely cold. We're now down here indoors and there's a surprisingly good view here as well. So we can kind of enjoy this for a bit longer. back downstairs now. There seems to be some nice lights here. We are in a seafood izakaya now. It is going to be expensive, but hopefully, it'll be really good. Scallops. It's a little on the small side, which is slightly disappointing, but it's very fresh. Though. Oh, but it tastes really good though. I'll see you about this. We'll go to the convenience yeah, store and buy a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks good. That's like, I think that's Kani Miso, which is my favorite. This was delicious. It is extremely expensive because of the crab, but the crab was worth it. It is very good. The fish is also really good. So all in all, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with this meal. Uh, we may have to adjust our budget a little bit, but it's probably worth it. This is Hokkaido, right? You're gonna come here, you're gonna get the seafood, and the seafood delivered. It is delicious. So just got done at the onsen bath in the hotel and apparently after every bath you get one complimentary popsicle which is nice this is pineapple flavor helps with the cooling down you know? and so after a long day we tucked ourselves into bed not knowing then that the morning would greet us with fresh snowfall up next we check out more of hakodate in the snow including a unique 19th century fort, before heading back down south to the city of Aomori, seeking local delicacies along the way. Subscribe and join us as the journey continues.